It is really quite a thrill to have been around for 60 years. Not that I have been there for 60, but uh, we're very proud that uh, the company's anniversary was last year. I think it's really quite an incredible achievement in this industry because not a lot of our peer companies have been around that long. But I think it also, that longevity also really demonstrates a consistent strategy and consistent execution by the management team where your shareholders will support you and want you to be around. And we're really planning to be around for 60 more by executing literally the same strategy that got us here today. Our strong performance, I think, relates to what I just said about the, the execution of the strategy, but it also really speaks to the quality of our employees and the high quality of the assets. We like to evaluate early stage assets, and that allows us to get in early, frankly, and find the gold for ourselves. When you find the gold with your own drill bits, you're generally paying 10, 15, to $20 per ounce to find that gold. But if you buy it in the market through M&A, you know, a decent rule of thumb would be paying $100, $125, $150 per ounce. So it's clear that you can create more value and be a top performing stock in the long run by getting in early, developing high quality assets by yourself with your own drill bit. I'm pretty excited about the state of the gold market at the moment because of course, rates globally have started to tick up started to rise and in a rising rate environment, gold hasn't always done particularly well. But here we are today with gold around 1350 per ounce and gold's held up pretty well. We're, we're quite encouraged by that. Because Igneco's positioned itself such that we are about to grow the company again, we've got a huge pipeline that suggests that even in the next five to 10 years, we'll continue to grow the company. A growing company that keeps control of its costs and pays attention to the balance sheet in a good gold market gets us pretty excited about the possibility for creating huge per share value for our owners and other stakeholders. I think some of the challenges in the market right now are specifically attracting generalist interest because the broad markets are doing very well at the moment, seems like it's record after record. So the gold equities tend to be more of uh, their hedge against downturns in the market. It's very difficult because in a rising gold price environment, a lot of times the cost structure of the industry just follows right along behind. In fact, I think stakeholders were very surprised that when gold went to $1,900 per ounce, the gold companies didn't make a lot more money as they'd expected, and so they were very disappointed in that. But it's very difficult because there are numerous inputs to this business that effectively you can't control. So investors really have to be conscious of the fact that they have to get strong management running strong assets. We're really excited about where we are today because a lot of the companies in this industry I think have not reinvested in their businesses through the downturn as much as Igneco had. And as a result, I think we have a competitive advantage today that uh, should work out pretty well for us. The culture is part of the success and part of the reason Igneco's been around for 60 years. I understand it goes back to the founder of the company, Paul Penna, put it all together in 1957. And he was a very charitable guy. He, he believed in making money for the shareholders, for sure. But he also viewed the employees as family and treated them that way. And I think that continues today, largely through our current CEO, Sean Boyd. And one thing Sean likes to say is, just do the right thing. And as a result, Igneco has been a very respected company for more than 60 years. In fact, it's an award-winning company on the CSR front. And we're very, very proud of that.